Hi, I'm Marielle Jacobsons, and I'm here with my installation, String TV. And we're both at the Lab in San Francisco, which is a gallery celebrating their 25th anniversary. And this is part of a group exhibition in celebration. The sound that you're hearing is coming from this string, which is mounted here. It's a piano wire string. And as you can see, as I move, these two handles here, you get different sounds and overtones of the string. This is happening because there's magnets attached to these handles and there's electricity going through the string. So what you have is kind of like an Ebo type of effect where you have um, a moving electrical field and a fixed magnet and that creates motion in the string. The sound that you're hearing is all coming from the instrument itself. There's no electronics amplifying it or in any way. Um, for example, I can pluck the string and you would hear it just as if you were plucking a string on a bass or something like that. So the other aspect of this instrument is how the sound is being generated. It's actually coming from a feedback loop of audio coming from the string and also from the television. On the television, you can see the audio, which is going directly into the television in real time. And there's a little microphone on it called a telephone tap or electromagnetic microphone pickup. And that is taking the frequencies coming from the television and putting them back into the strain. So the instrument is free floating and in, in the inside there is a Mac Mini which is running on a timer and there is also an amplifier and an audio interface and there's also a box to send a video up to the television and on the computer is a Max MSP program which I created to shape and monitor the feedback loop that was happening. The woodworking and instrument fabrication were done by Max Alstadt, who also had the idea to curve the soundboard in the manner that it is, which ended up being a really interactive and fun aspect of the piece. The most interesting thing about putting this installation up is seeing how people have interacted with it. Of course, people move the handles, and you hear different frequencies, and you can see those frequencies happening as you're doing it, which people are very fascinated by. But there's also this kind of more physical aspect where people will put their hands to feel the vibrations of the sounds on the instrument and through the wood. And also, as you lean on it, you can kind of have a whammy bar type of effect on the sound that you hear. And it's been really fun to watch people interact with the body of the instrument, feeling the vibrations and, and altering them in a few different ways. How much does the acoustic space for the uh, pieces installed, how much does that affect the uh, harmonics? This piece is very um, interactive with its environment, actually more surprisingly so than I thought it was going to be. When there's a lot of room noise, for example, of crowds and people talking, it sounds and reacts differently than in a very quiet, open space where it might react more with the harmonics of the room. The idea for this installation came from a previous work that I did called The Self-Oscillating Violin. And the self-oscillating violin worked much in the same manner as a single string, but with four strings. Um, there was a big fixed magnet 
and the four strings were self-oscillating, so the instrument was sounding on its own without a person. So I thought it would be interesting to blow up the scale of that instrument as well as take it away from the context of the violin and to create its own instrument, which was at the same point interactive with people. And so that was my idea.